What's up, you internet? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well, wherever you are in this beautiful world. You know, quite frankly, I feel like this video has been in the making for the past year and a half, two years. If you've been following my Instagram, you know, you've probably seen it. You know, it's all the knives, the wallets, the watches, the rings, all that stuff. And I've been trying to kind of figure out what's my style and my carry instead of just kind of copying anyone else's. And I feel like I finally reached that point. So today I wanted to share you guys my everyday carry 2022 style part one. Let's get to it. All right, so let's get straight into this video. This is something that everyone carries in their day to day basis, and that's going to be their phone. Now, I simply carry the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this is living straight up inside my left side pocket. What I say I really like this phone? Sometimes. You know, I have a love and hate towards this giant TV of a phone, literally the size of your freaking hand and literally a TV inside your pocket. The only thing that kind of really why I need this phone specifically and why I don't go smaller is just because of two things. One, the camera quality, and two, the battery life. I really, really hate charging my phone midday. You know, it's a really big inconvenience sometimes when you're out and about and you kind of are worrying, oh my God, I gotta put it to low battery mode. And for me, it's just kind of annoying. I don't wanna carry an external battery pack unless I really need to, or, you know, if I really don't wanna carry more cables on me either. So it's kind of nice just to rely on the fact that this is gonna survive throughout the day. Now, do I like the big phone size? Hell yeah, I do but there are moments when I really don't. Sometimes I fear it's gonna fall out of my pocket if I'm carrying it, like if I'm wearing shorts. And then there are moments when this thing falls in my face right before I sleep. So those moments suck, but I feel like the, for the needs of the phone, Apple, you did great. You had finally made phones that don't actually require you to change the battery every year or make you change and upgrade every year. So thanks Apple, really appreciate it. Okay, so now let's move on to my wrist. Now this is something that I have some sense of end value, but first off, I'm wearing the Orient Ray 2 watch. Now this watch has a black face, it has the glow-in-the-dark dials after absorbing some light, and it's also a movement watch. Now a movement watch, if you don't know what that is, it's solely powered by the physics of, you know, your movement of wearing the watch. There's no battery inside. Literally, if you don't use this for a while, you have to adjust the time and date again. So some things I'm starting to hate more since I don't have an actual thing that rotates the actual watch itself. But, you know, with that being said, I really like this watch. You know, it's a very affordable watch. It's like around $200 or maybe less than $200. I can't really remember, but it goes with practically everything that I wear with t-shirts, with like button ups and stuff. And I kind of really like the fact that, you know, this kind of goes with everything. So Orient, you made a great watch, very affordable. Really appreciate you guys, you know, making these types of watches, so thanks. All right, now let's move on to my hands. Now, as you can tell, I wear two rings, one on my left hand and one on my right hand. And specifically, the one on my left hand is the collaboration from Pete's Pirate Life and Clots and Colors. As you can see, you got the logo there with the whole entire ring around, it says fly the flag. Now, for me specifically, this ring has a lot of sentimental value just because it kind of reminds me, yo man, Royce, you gotta stand tall, you gotta make some noise, you gotta flip the table if you need to. Let's make some banger videos, let's make some dope photos, you know, let's go on an adventure, go hiking, go camping, all that stuff. It kind of just gives me that drive and motivation, I guess, just to kind of, you know, let's do it. You got one shot in this life, so why not just go full throttle on this and just make it so like you're no have no regrets. That's kind of what I see when I kind of remind myself when I'm looking at my left hand and I'm like this, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. And on my right hand, you know, cheap ring, it's like $5, but like good reminder for me is a kind of just who I am as a person. And if you could see it, it's like a, there's a cross on here. It just kind of gives me that true north, I love one another, salt in the light uh, in the world as well. It doesn't work all the time, but these rings definitely help me kind of, you know, go about my day and kind of remind myself and kind of align to who I am as a person when things kind of go rough throughout the day. So yeah, these rings are awesome. And if you enter jewelry, I feel like, you know, things like this is a great reminder to kind of give yourself that true north as you kind of go about your day. All right, now moving on to the right side of my butt pocket, and that's gonna be the Messenger Bullstrap Wallet. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video when I first recommended this, this wallet is pretty affordable. It's a leather wallet by Bullstrap. You know, it's called the Messenger Wallet. It has eight card slots. Two of those are hidden card slots. 
why I like this wallet a lot is just because, you know, I've owned a lot of wallets in my past, like 10 wallets probably, like with designer ones from my mom that gave me. The extra wallets, I've had like three of those. You know, I had sleeves, I've had, you know, things that just all clamped together stuff. Like I had all those wallets. But something about like this wallet specifically, maybe it's the card slots, maybe it's the designated card slots, but the fact that it's leather, and it's affordable, it's kind of the, what really attracted me the most as well. And after a year of having this wallet so far, the character of this is just really nice. The feel of it's really nice, and it's just lasting super long. Quite frankly, if I had any other wallet, I can't imagine comparing it to this wallet. You know, Bullstrap, you guys made a great wallet, and if you're looking for a new wallet, a new upgrade, or just wanna just size down your giant phone book of a wallet and wanna, don't wanna break the tailbone of your butt, you know, look into this, the, into this wallet. I think you'll really like it. Bullstrap, thanks again. Great wallet. All right, so last but not least, right pocket. Right here, I'm carrying the Mini Adamus Benchmade knife. Now, when they said Mini Adamus, when I first purchased this, I thought it was gonna be a much smaller knife, but my gosh, this thing is a tank. Like, this thing is huge sometimes when I when I open it. Sometimes when I go back to my smaller knives, I'm like, yo, man, this is, this is, so small and this one like it just feels like a tank it's a beast every time when i put this into like the ringer of like opening boxes cutting cardboard in specific shapes opening something with that when i don't have anything to pry it open like for some reason this just this goes through it all you know if i had to recommend any other knives that like if you want to upgrade your knives benchmade has been making some great knives and mini adamas is hands down one of those things if you don't like in green they make one in black but I specifically wanted the green one just because I kind of want a little more variety in like all my knives. So hands down, Benchmade, you made a great knife. So if you're ever looking to upgrade, Benchmade Mini Damas. There you go. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much my everyday carry for 2022. I'm not really sure if you guys are into this type of video. Definitely a different type of video and different vibe. But these are definitely all the stuff that I really am just passionate about and just love to do and kind of really just brings me a drive throughout the whole day in life. So, you know, if you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up. We'll love to hear what you guys carry as well. So feel free to comment down below. But if you want to follow this journey, we'll love for you guys to subscribe as well to kind of just support me as well. But wherever you are, hope you have a blessed day and God bless. Peace. Definitely not a safe fidget toy. <laughs>